Hey, welcome back to Mike's Diabetes World. Now I'll do it. It hasn't really changed much. Blood sugar is currently at 6.5. Carb. Sorry, carb. Correction factor, blue lines. So every blue line, if I can do this right. Now I got 0.65 of the unit. Okay. And the pink line is my to do oh what is it basal weight god I had that moment there but that's where it looks at if I take a look time range we know this from earlier this is creeping up again gotta work on keeping that low but we'll see Today, I want to talk to you about another step in our control plan. Remember, March 17th, big day where we get all our ducks in a row and start your life getting control. Sorry about that. Now, we'll be right back and we'll begin. <laughs> This channel is provided for informational purposes only. Contact your physician for any diagnostic or treatment plan. Like I said in the intro, March 17th is your day. Hopefully you've gone and saw your doctor. You've got all your equipment and prescriptions ready. And... A, and you set yourself up for success. This time, we're going to expand on setting up for success. Everyone will falter at this. That's a real plus mm -hmm. to send you guys into these talks is that you're going to fail. But are you? You're going to fail because you're going to have a high blood sugar. You're going to get sick. You're going to stumble. You're going to have something that you really shouldn't be having. When you eat, you even exercise one day. You miss the blood sugar. All of this is going to... make you falter. The clue is, <coughs> me, if you falter, get up and start over. You're, 
I don't want to say you're only as good as your last blood sugar. But it's true. You, if Once you get a high blood sugar, next one, take your correction and continue on. Don't worry about what people think. If you get your one blood sugar that's way out there, don't dwell on it. Yes, don't get your mind, well, you see, I did this and this happened. Look at the end prize. You're going to feel better. Your body's going to enjoy it better. You're not going to allow complications to take over. Doesn't mean they won't, but you're doing everything you can. Now, every diabetic will go through a lull period. Oh, I really don't feel like taking my blood sugar. Oh, okay. So, if you get a high blood sugar, treat it, move on. If you get a low, do what you have to do. If you get a severe low, contact your doctor, adjust your plan, and move on. It's that simple. Don't let anything get in your way of being in good control. It's kind of like setting a goal and reaching that goal. Nothing is easy to achieve that goal. I'm going to use the example of being a medical doctor. It's not just, okay, I applied and got into medical school. Okay, first day of medicine. It went great, wonderful. It's not going to happen like that. You're going to have setbacks. And you just keep going. You keep working at it. But I always try to plan for any setbacks. And trust me, when I've tried to control my blood sugar, there have been setbacks. I go through times where I have high blood sugars, low blood sugars. We work on getting them down and then we continue on. Right now, I know 83%. 70 is sort of, they want anything above 70. I know I have to work on that. We'll see how I am tomorrow, but right now, 83%. It's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. So, I want you today to sit down, write any excuse you could see for why you would stop um, doing the control plan that you, your doctor, have set up. Anything whatsoever. Could be something stupid like, I forgot to take my insulin one day. Wouldn't happen to me. But that's what you want to do. You want to do that and then come up with a plan to solve that. With my diet, with everything, but with my own, that's what I had to do. So all day I'm constantly looking at my phone and seeing, has my blood sugar increased? Has it decreased? 6.7 is fine. should look at it. That's the number we want. That's where I came from. 
So, in fact, when I mentioned forgot to take insulin, I didn't realize I wasn't connected to my pump. And I took a look at my number, it was up to 9.3. And that's a little higher than where I have been. And I realized, oh, well, let's see if I, maybe I should try to give bolus. Took a look at the, couldn't find the pump. It was on one of my tables. So what did I do? I plugged it in. I took a little shot of insulin. And it came down. But then that night, I just forgot to give myself insulin. So yesterday, the 83, I don't feel would be that great of a number. But this does not stop me. Oh, well, I'm out of it. It's not sort of like those computer games where they come up and they are all grouped together. And if you win, you carry on to the next level. Your blood sugars aren't like that. If you do great, you carry on. If you falter, you dropped off. It doesn't work that way. You can get back to where everyone else is. You know, you may want to watch what you're eating. If you're high, you may want to start drinking some liquids, take insulin. <clears throat> Part of being in control is ensuring that you do not let things get out of whack. Sometimes your body is just saying, hey, you know what? I'm not really happy here. And you end up, but things that you can control, ensuring you're connected to your pump, taking your insulin. Hey, we all falter at that. I'm sure any diabetic will tell you sometime in their diabetes life, they have forgotten to take their insulin. And you can pay for that. So set up a plan of anything you can think of that may make you falter from your plan. Come up with a plan to get you back on track for each of those. Maybe a couple, the same, doesn't matter, just as long as you have the plan. Keep that in mind. So, come up with what's going to cause you to fall by the wayside. Come up with a plan for each of them. Know how to treat your lows. Know how to treat your highs. And how to do a test. And when's the best time for you to test? That's it for today. Have a great day. And we'll talk again soon. Bye now. My email is mikesdiabetesworld at gmail.com. Mike's Diabetes World at gmail.com.